In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite base defenses in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player that you can possibly be. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Every day we release tips on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball um, to help you guys improve. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, the best way to do that is to just click that subscribe button. Again, it's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release a new video um, that can help you get better at this game. Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at my base defense. This is probably one of my favorite kind of starting points against a lot of different formations um, to play against. And the reason why I like this defense so much to kind of start out a game is because it's just so simple, but it's at the same time super, super effective. So we're just going to kind of show this against like a little um, three by one spread formation. And the defense that we're going to be utilizing is the nickel 335 wide and we're going to be going over the play cover four show two now if you notice here i actually have all of my zone drops back to default as you can see um option defense is going to go on a conservative ball and our defense to play ball and then we're going to roll with it just like this now really quickly before we dive too far into this i do want to let you know that this is a match defense but if you want to learn my entire 335 wide defensive guide that covers match defense man defense quarters coverage which is what we're going to go over a little bit today it also covers blitzes and run defenses pretty much everything that you need to be successful on the defensive side of the ball I'm going to put a link in the description for you to be able to get that. It's just 15 bucks, and it is a great way to support the channel, but it's also a great way for you to be able to um, just get better at this game. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to audible into that cover four from the 335 wide, just like this right here. And the setup is honestly super, super simple. What I like to do um, is I like to go ahead and just blitz my user straight down. Okay, that's going to help a little bit. And then I like to shift my defensive line to the left side. That's going to put them on the same side as the running back. And I like to crash it out. The reason I like to crash it out is because if there's an inside zone or something, I'm going to be able to shoot down and make a, a quick tackle. From that point, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the defensive end that is on the outside. So if this formation was flipped, it would be the right of screen defensive end. But in this example, it's the left of screen defensive end. I'm going to put him into a bluff blitz, as you can see right there. That's going to put him into a three rec hook zone, as you can see. And then the only other thing that I like to do is I typically like to go ahead and ask the question, who's probably going to be the problem? And um, whoever that problem, quote unquote, is going to be, that's who I'm going to man up. So if I'm facing a formation like this, typically the problem is going to be the R1 receiver or the slot. So we're going to man him up onto the slot. And that's going to be that. And the snap the ball, what you're going to see is just a phenomenal little match coverage. We're going to be able to take pretty much everything away. And it's just very difficult to beat this defense. There's a very um, specific formula that you have to really use to beat this defense. And it honestly doesn't really come from a lot of these formations. A lot of these formations like, like this or going doubles or spread or any of that stuff, it doesn't do that good um, against this little against this little play. Now, one of the things that they can do that is actually going to be very fairly effective is this little option route to the running back. As you can see, that option route to the running back is very effective. So, a way that you can kind of take care of that if you need to. Again, this is as you're kind of adjusting as you go. But if you want an adjustment that you can use to kind of take care of that, is to simply essentially play zone on the running back side. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drop a seam flat over there, and we're going to drop that three rec hook zone right in that little spot. And now you're gonna see that if I try to throw that little option route, um, he is gonna run right into that seam flat. As you can see, we're gonna be able to rally down and tackle the ball carrier. So again, I wanna go over the setup one more time for you. This is my base defense against anyone right now in the game. It's very, very effective. It doesn't really need any abilities. Um, it doesn't really need, you know, I like to put all of my abilities, honestly, if I were if I were telling you, I would put Acrobat on everybody, but that's about it. Uh, but anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to man up that right of that blitzing linebacker onto the problem receiver. So in this case, it would be the slot. I'm going to take the left of screen defensive end. I'm going to put him into a little three rec. And then if I'm on the running back side, because I know the option routes are really, really good, I'll typically just go ahead and put a seam flat over there um, or put a, a curl flat. It doesn't have, either one of those is going to be fine. And then the cool part is, you know, based off what they go from there, it doesn't really matter. See here, so like I'm going to audible to this trips tight end defense and you see that pretty much everything's the same the only thing that i would probably do a little bit differently is i would just quickly flip the play 
um, as you can see right here, you're going to be able to get that slot corner over on that side, and now you're going to be able to kind of be in this situation. So you're just going to set the same defense up, but you're going to set it up the opposite direction because you're going to shift them to the right because the running back's down on the right side. So we're going to three red zone that guy. We're going to go ahead and man this guy up on whichever slot we want to take care of. I would recommend uh, typically it's going to be that triangle, or in this situation it's going to typically be either circle or triangle, one of the two. And then um, from there, I know I, oh, I got a running back on that side, so I'm going to put that seam flood over there. And what you're going to see is just phenomenal defense. You're, you're literally going to be able to take care of everything. Um, the crossing routes that are so hard to stop, as you can see, we're able to take care of that with this match defense. So this is a very simple little formula. Let me show you um, this against another popular formation that you're probably going to see online, um, something like the gun bunch. So it's the same thing. It's the same theory. It's just we're going to apply it to the gun bunch now. So... Again, cover four show two, there are trips to the left side, so we're gonna shift our D-line to the left here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that little bluff blitz out there. We're gonna throw a seam flat over there to take care of that option route. And then on that right side, we're gonna take care of the problem, which in this case, the problem, in my opinion, out of gun bunch is gonna be that circle receiver. And then we're just gonna have to kind of watch that. Um, but you're gonna see here, you're gonna be able to pretty much take everything away. And as you can see, you know, great defense all in all. So um, unless something crazy like that happens. But if you want to get my full version of the Nickel 335 wide defense and take your defense to the next level, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description of this video. Again, that defensive guide is just 15 bucks. It's a great way to get started. If you have not gotten it yet, I would definitely tell you that if there was one of my products that is a must-buy, I will tell you right now the must-buy product that I have for you is this 335 wide defensive guide. It's the best defense in the game it will change how you play defense. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.